Hey, I'm Maggie K. So today I'm going to be doing a haul video. I went to South Korea recently. If you watch my videos, I posted all of the videos already from that trip. And I did a little bit of shopping. And it, like legit, I just did a very small amount. Looking at everything I bought right now, I didn't actually buy that much. But yeah, I did do a little bit of shopping and I posted on Instagram and I was like, do you guys want to see a full like haul in a YouTube video form? And most people said, yes, please do that. So I am here to do a haul video of the things I bought in South Korea. And I need to stop rambling and just get started with this. First thing I bought was this. So this are uh, sheet masks. This is a pack of five and this is the Dr. Jart clearing solution so i don't actually have like acne prone skin um i do get some like i have a little bit of a breakout right here um uh, but my problem is more of like dry and like i have problems with texture on my skin not so much acne but just like i have a weird texture sometimes and yeah i figured when my skin is particularly just like gross actually I probably should use this now my skin's not doing so great at the moment um but I figured this would be a nice like little sheet mask to help me when shit goes wrong kind of thing um I've heard good things about Dr. Jart so yeah um I'm kind of excited to he see um how these work actually when I posted this on Instagram this is the one product that like people actually mess messaged about they're like oh man those are so good i wish they were more affordable in america <laughs> so the next product kind of going along with a uh, sheet things <laughs> i got these okay i only need one um so i saw these and i thought they were funny and i i'm not actually thinking this is gonna do anything but i thought they were funny and was like why not try it um, so these are like little patches. So this is a belly lifting patch and an arm lifting patch. They also had one for your butt, like a butt lifting patch. Um, but I feel like my butt is okay. My arms and my belly need a little help. <laughs> so I got these and I got two of each um, because one, they, they were cheap. So why not get two? And also because you kind of need to be consistent when it comes to this kind of stuff just to see if there's ever a difference and it actually works. Um, so I haven't tried these yet. If I try them before I post this video, I'll let you know like the results <laughs> or how they work. Um, but yeah, there's like little instructions here to just like place it on your arm and then leave it for four to eight hours um, to like lift your arm and lift your belly so we'll see if this does anything like i said i kind of bought it because i thought they were funny and i don't think they're actually going to do anything but why not have some fun with it and like i said i will insert a clip right now if i tried these and what i think after using them The next thing I bought is something for my hair. Um, so this is like a two-step hair mask kind of thing. I had a similar like process from Etude House I bought here in Japan. Um, and I kind of liked the idea. So I was like, I'll try, you know, this kind of a very similar product. So basically, it's a two-step thing where at the bottom you have step one, which is like a cream or serum kind of thing that you put on your hair. And then afterwards in the top packet here is a um, kind of like a shower cap kind of thing that has more essence and whatever. And you kind of have that shower cap built into the hair mask feature, which I really like. So like I've been putting the hair mask on my hair and then the shower cap thing on and then having a bath and then my hair is out of the bath and it's getting a mask done. I really like it. Anyways, I got the damaged hair one because my hair is really damaged right now. Um, yeah, I'm like desperate for a haircut. That's why it's up because like I can't brush 
through my hair all the way without like it getting caught at the bottom. I just, I need to chop that off. I am desperate. <laughs> um, but yeah, hair mask, cool. Okay, sticking to the hair stuff, this box got a little crushed, um, but is some hair color. So this is a temporary color. So this is like a 14 day, it says two weeks on here. So I am really into orange right now. Like I'm all about the color orange right now. Um, everything needs to be orange and I want to dye my hair orange or because my hair is like kind of damaged and like I'm trying to grow it out and trying to like get it healthy again um, and I'm kind of like worried about like my scalp issues so I've been thinking to like kind of like dip dye just like the ends and have it like blend up into my brown color with like bright orange and I wanted it to be temporary because I have commitment issues. So I was looking for like an orange, like 14 day, two week kind of thing. And it was so hard to find. They have like so many other colors except orange. Like why don't you have orange? This was the closest thing I could find to orange and it's not even orange, it's blushed peach. Um, but it's close enough, I guess. I was going to use this like right away, like right now, like as we speak, I wanted to use it, but because my hair is very eh, like I just said, uh, I wanna wait until I get all of the split ends and the gross bits cut off before I put chemicals on it and color on it because the color is not gonna look good if it's on gross hair to begin with. So like with everything else, if I try this before posting this video, I will let you know how it goes. Insert clip here. So yesterday I recolored the orange part of my hair because some of it had faded to like almost white again. Um, and it's like a peachy orange this time, but it doesn't show up like that on camera. It makes me sad. It's cute though. It's cute in person, trust me. And it's much more like a peachy pink orange. Though it looks super orange on the camera. Cool. Okay, so the last like beauty thing that's not makeup, I'll get into makeup in a second, um, are nail stickers. So I've been really into nail stickers, like the gel nail sticker kind of thing. I don't have any on right now. I'm giving my nails a break. But I've been really into them and I really like them actually. So I wanted to get some more. And I really didn't like some of the designs that I was seeing around, I was a bit eh on them, not in, not liking any of them enough to buy. So, um, I saw these <laughs> and decided to get these instead because Korea is the only place where I would find these, so why not? So these are BT21 nail stickers. They come in pairs. So we have the Jimmy and Mung gel nail sticker set and then we have RJ and Shiki and then we have Cookie and Koya. I've used these as you can see this one I still have some so I don't put the stickers on all my nails there's 14 in each so if I like mix it in with just some regular nail polish I can get two wears out of each set um, so you can't really see there's some in there I've tried these now I didn't have high hopes. These were like $3 a piece. So I was like, uh, low quality. It's not gonna be that good. But they actually lasted just as long as the other nail stickers I have. So the quality isn't actually that bad. Um, however, my issue with them is that if you can see here, so they come in pairs. There's two, two characters for each set. It is not even. This one's really freaking obvious. So there's tons, tons of Chimmy happening. And then like Meng has like three. At least make them even. Like that, that's kind of rude. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are just kind of for fun. Some fun stuff. And like I said, I probably wouldn't be able to find these anywhere except in South Korea. So why not? They were cheap and surprisingly good quality. 
So moving on into makeup stuff, I got a couple of lip products and the first one is from Holika Holika, the Devil's Plumper Matte Primer. Um, a lot of people were talking about this online. I see, saw a few people like mentioning this and they're like, oh my God, it's so intense. And I wanted to try it for myself just because. I mean, if it is like a good plumper and can make my lips plumper, um, cool. Uh, I like the fact that it was also a primer because I've been getting more into like lip products. Normally, I don't wear color on my lips. I, ju I just leave them plain. But I've been getting into it a little bit. So I was like, a primer might be good because some of the colors that I have and that I like don't actually last that long. So maybe a primer might help that. And yeah, I wanted to see what everyone was talking about online and if it's really that intense. And I have used it a few times. It's not that intense. It really isn't. Um, it, it, it's like, she's spicy, but she's not that intense. There isn't like no point where I'm like, oh, I need to take this off my lips. It's so meh. Uh, I feel it right away. Like, yep, there's a little tingling and yep. I wasn't too serious about this product either, but I wanted to buy it and like have fun with it. And yeah. It, it is what it is. So the next product I bought is this. So this is a lip tint from Tony Moly. And Tony Moly is actually my favorite company for lip products. I have another lip product, this. This is like my favorite red I've ever had ever in my life. And it's also by Tony Moly. It is amazing. And I don't know what it is. I haven't actually tried too many other of their products. Um, so I can't really speak on that, but their lip stuff. Freaking amazing. I love their lip products. Um, so yeah, this is a great color. Side note, I, I, I've had this for a while, but this is great. And I wanted to try more of their lip products, so I decided to pick up this one. So this is the Lip Tone Get It Tint in Oh My Rose. And I actually have it on right now. I figured I'd put it on for this video. Just so you know what it looks like on my face. I do like this. Uh, I feel like the Tony Moly, and the reason why I like Tony Moly stuff is that I feel like there's more staying power with these lip tints than other brands that I've tried. And I feel like this color, I went with this color because I found a lot of the colors in Korea were very, bright and very intense and not I don't know it's like everything was like really red and really pink and I was like can you tone it down just a little bit and I figured this like rosy color like yeah sure it's bright but it's not like in your face bright um which I felt like a lot of the other ones are it was very hard to like find neutrals and like beiges um I rarely saw those around Korea, just so you know, if you're gonna go shopping in Korea. They're very into like, real like, bam lip colors. Um, and this was one of the more toned down that I found, but I do like it. I mentioned earlier how I'm like really into orange and that goes for lip products too. I have a couple of orange that I love right now. Um, so this lip color isn't really fitting my mood. I figured it's like a good, not necessarily everyday color, but kind of like a standard easy go-to if I'm just like, I want a little bit of color on my lips, but I don't want like orange or red or something like intense or bright. Um, just a little bit of color. And this is a good shade for that, I feel. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna talk about in terms of beauty products is this. So this is CNP Tone Up Finish Sun Pack. So basically I have been looking for a like makeup powder sunscreen kind of deal because you should be like touching up on sunscreen throughout the day kind of like after makeup. So I always put sunscreen on at the beginning of the day when I'm like getting ready for the day right that's the first thing I put on and then I do my makeup and whatever but you kind of need to touch up on the sunscreen because you sweat you move 
things happen and it's just good to touch up on sunscreen anyways uh protect yourself so i was watching lab muffin beauty science if you don't know her youtube channel like she's fantastic she's one of my favorite like channels right now she's great i love all of her videos and she was doing a video on sunscreen and different kinds of sunscreen and she mentioned that that's a thing like having a powder makeup kind of thing but it's sunscreen and i was like that would be amazing to touch up throughout the day because like if i put the regular sunscreen over top of my makeup it's gonna move my makeup around and then i'm gonna look weird um so having something that's more like a makeup product but it's sunscreen would be good to have i would love to have that so i hadn't found anything like that around japan but then i saw this in korea so when you open it it looks like a regular compact so there's the mirror there and it looks skin toned um but i haven't noticed any kind of color because this is obviously darker than my complexion but it actually lightens it hence the uh tone up I, I'm really into tone up products too. That's another thing. I'm into orange and I'm into tone up products. I am liking this so far. I haven't used it too much, but the few times I did use it, I haven't had any problems. Then again, I haven't actually spent much time out in the sun since buying this. So we'll see if it like stands up to touch ups on a beach day or something, or like when I go to hang out in a park all day. I haven't done anything like that since buying it, but so, that was it for makeup. Now, I wanted to buy a couple of pieces of clothes, but not too much. I did find a couple of tops that I liked, so I figured I would show you. And the first top is this, which is a long sleeve, striped, kind of cropped. Like, it's not super cropped, but you know, it's not a full length shirt. So, when I first pulled this off the rack, it was, I thought it was just a plain, striped cropped top and then i noticed there was writing on it after like i was like it was in my arms and i was about to go to the counter and then i realized there was something red on it and i was like what so it says one hi two thanks three good i don't know why but uh i do like buying shirts with really random english i wasn't i picked this up and i was gonna buy it if it didn't have this and when i saw that i'm like yes i don't know what it means but yes so that's the shirt. Um, I've worn it once when I went out uh, here in Japan. I went out for a night, paired it with a black skirt, and it was a cute outfit. So I bought one more top, and this one still has a tag on it. I haven't worn it yet. Um, so I don't know how it looks on, but um, it's kind of like a muscle top, so it has like cut off sleeves, and it's not like finished, so. It has a penguin on it. I thought it was cute. So it says, oof. Open all night. Hey, so it's like a little penguin selling ice. And then on the back, the back is what got me and the whole reason I decided to buy it. So you got the penguin on the back again and all of his parts are labeled. So you got his brain, his beak, wings. What else? Ice cream. He has an ice cream. Can you see that? Uh, ice cream and foot just one just one foot <laughs> um again I don't really know why but it made me smile so I bought it the last two items I bought were from the line store so these are clothing technically socks so I got some BT21 socks and these are clean. I washed them. I just pulled them out of the drawer. And on the back of the one sock, it says, thank you. And then on the back of the other one, I have Koya. So there was like a pair for like every BT21 character. And they also had very similar ones with um, the line characters, Brown and Coney. But yeah, I got this one because I felt like the little sleeping koala goes well with the thank you. So, yeah. Little socks. Cool. Not much. And then the last thing I got, it's been kind of frustrating for me because 
there's so many really cute like phone cases and stuff around Japan and Korea and the different places I've traveled that I want but I have a really shitty phone and I am really looking forward to going back to Canada and buying a new phone because this is garbage um so I didn't want to buy a phone case because one this piece of trash <laughs> they don't have phone cases this size anymore and I wasn't sure I'm still not completely sure what phone I'm going to buy when I get back to Canada so it's not like I can buy it and just save it for when that happens because I'm not sure what phone it's gonna be or what size or whatever um so instead I've been buying pop sockets <laughs> And I figured no matter what phone I get, I can get a plain case and stick this on. So while I was at the line store, I got a BT21 Shooky pop socket. So when I get back to Canada, I can put this on a case and that will be my little BT21 case. That is it for this video. That is what I bought in Korea this time around. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I'll be back with more videos soon non-haul videos. It's not going to be a haul. Okay, goodbye.